Good morning guys, my name's Brandon Bruce and welcome back to my channel Escaping Comfort Zone. Ah, so I had an awesome first night's sleep in my camper van up until about 3.30 in the morning because I was um, charging a few of my drone batteries and my phone and some other things and then I accidentally may have drained the battery. Um, so at 3.30 in the morning the inverter was non-stop beeping so I had to turn that off and I was hoping that all the food in the fridge wasn't going to go bad, but it's still cold. So I'll remember that for next time. So right now it's 5.30 in the morning and I'm getting keen enough to go hike up godly heads and hopefully get a beautiful sunrise, but I don't know how it's going to go because it's pretty overcast. But we'll see how it is. So I packed up my gear from Godly Heads um, and then I tried to figure out where to go and not far from Godly Heads Park there was another road called Summit Road and so that pretty much takes you like around the back way of Christchurch uh, throughout the mountains and it's a really scenic view if, if, if you're ever around this area. Um, but yeah there's plenty of hiking tracks along the way and right now, oh, I don't know if you can see it but it looks like a abandoned building up the top there so I'm gonna check that out but look at the view that's all around me awesome and I think that's Christchurch somewhere over there yep looks like a steep hike like I'm prepping my proper hiking boots aka thongs <laughs> abandoned building, it's just a cable car. Must go all the way down to the bottom of the town or something. That makes it easy. Desert, 
And it looks like the roads close on this one, so I think I'll have to head back the same way I came in. I reckon that would have to be the best views I've got of the city. That was pretty, pretty high up right here. Um, I'll keep following this road, but it seems to be closed, so pretty sure I'll have to head back the same way I came in. And then, I'm not too sure when and where, but I might start heading south now, I reckon. Oh yeah, guys, like my new addition to the car. The escaping cover zone. Thought I had to make this car official. <laughs> Okay, so after another big day of adventure around, I finally found another awesome campsite. Um, this one's called Coes Ford. And it's a huge place and I got all this for free. This is just free accommodation for camping and camper vans. Um, yeah, so I just pulled in, picked a spot, and the best part about it is there is even a little freshwater river right behind me. So I was planning on going to another campsite but the other campsite had a shower and I really want a shower. But this place was first in line, so a freshwater creek is good enough for a shower. How good is this? But it is freezing cold. Ooh. So plan is near. Probably have a share in that river <laughs> and then cook up some dinner, chill out, and probably edit some more videos and finish the day, guys. So I'll probably be seeing you after a cold shower and some dinner. Woo! Okay, it is shower time. <laughs> it's gonna be a cold shower. There we go. So cold. Okay, for tonight's menu, I will have pasta and mince while cooking on my three way burner. Should be tasty. Yum. Oh, yum. Not a bad meal, guys. Um, and no better way to spend it in an awesome campsite. So, you're probably wondering where I'm finding all these campsites, and there's Two, actually there's three really good apps. Um, if you travel around New Zealand and trying to look for campsites or toilets or showers or hikes, um, all these apps are great for it. Um, the best one I use is called CamperMate. So like you can find heaps of different campsites um, all around New Zealand, free and also the ones that cost as well, but it'll show varying how much they cost. And then another app is called Rankers, and then the third one is uh, Wikicamper. So if you're ever in New Zealand, guys, and you're doing a road trip or you just wanna go camping somewhere, 
definitely download those apps because it will make your life so much easier as it has mine. Um, yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to be heading south further again and I've actually been, um, I posted up a post on Facebook a while ago just on a backpacking New Zealand page and someone um, got back to me saying they want to travel with me for a while so I'm going to see them tomorrow and yeah, we'll finally have an adventure with someone else I won't be so lonely <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for today guys I'm going to sit here, enjoy my meal so I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.